से तैयार हो गई है जो हमारे सूत्र इस बात की जानकारी दे रहे हैं जी आनंद सिंह मैं आपका भी रुख करना चाहता हूँ इस वक्त आनंद सिंह ऑपोजिशन की राय इस पे क्या है What is the opposition saying about this news that is coming from our government sources? Uh, obviously, the opposition would have wanted a caste-based census. Now that it seems that the government is not in favour of this, the government saying that caste-based census will weaken India's unity. What is likely to be the opposition's viewpoint on this exercise? Yeah, well, look, uh, the opposition leaders, including Rahul Gandhi, who is the leader of opposition in Lok Sabha, has been. making the demand of caste based census across the country and uh, even as the census was delayed by the government as it was scheduled to happen in 2021 but it got delayed by 4 years as now the process will start in 2025 and will be completed by 2026 so clearly the opposition has been targeting the government uh, earlier that why the census has been delayed and clearly the way in which uh, the maha gathbandhan uh, that was there in bihar which got the caste census done first of all in bihar so they were clearly demanding and making pressure on the central government that there should be a caste census across the country and we have seen that how rahul gandhi has been mentioning this issue in uh, his parliament uh, uh, debates and also he has raised the questions on caste based census uh, during the session of parliament and uh, even outside the parliament he has been demanding for the caste based census across the country and in several other states where the congress has gone into elections they have made the promise of conducting caste based census whether it is karnataka whether it is uh, Uh, himachal pradesh whether it is uh, haryana and telangana so everywhere the congress has made the guarantee and promise of uh, implementing and getting done the caste based census so clearly now the opposition has got, got the ammo to target the government uh, over the issue that it has decided not to get the caste based census and we are still awaiting for the uh, comments from the opposition parties especially the congress and the, even the samajwadi party chief akhilesh yadav who has been vocal about the caste based census and he has also been demanding along with uh, rashtriya janata dal uh, from bihar that is tejasvi yadav who also has been uh, putting forth the demand for caste based census along with his father lalu prasad the other who is the former union minister so now the opposition parties will definitely target the absolutely alok mehta editorial director of india news also joining us now in fact live alok mehta uh, what is your uh, view point on this big uh, uh, decision by the government sources tell us a census will begin in 2025 unlikely uh, to be predominantly on caste as the opposition would have wanted uh, but this exercise expected to continue into 2026 is could also then lead for delimitation as well uh, by the next lok sabha elections alok mehta how are you viewing this uh, these big details coming in we did it very rightly by the government had now announced yet but certainly because this was discussing since long and in covid period by opposition saying you have not done something but in the covid period it was not possible at all to go home uh, home to home that's why now the government is already earlier uh, also it was uh, telling that okay we will have census now the question of caste you see this kind of in election time that's why i'm saying it's not a confirmed report from either from government or opposition but opposition just saying rahul gandhi said okay we will compare government but it is government have not issued any uh, notification may must be having some causes i just wanted yes, to sir. mention that what rahul gandhi will say about his caste parsi kashmiri brahman or uh, priyanka gandhi son what they, they will son or daughter what they will call themselves what akhilesh yadav married to uh, dimpal yadav ji but uh, she is uh, originally from rajput so uh, their family now the even government and officially accepted that the even the mother's name can go for any certificate for the official any certificate you can just mention about your mother so these younger generation now the 50% population is a mixed society and that is not a question of the hindu or muslim or sikh okay because the religion will be there if somebody wants to say proudly that i am a christian i am a sikh i am parsi or i am a jain okay it will be mentioned earlier also it used to be but this kind of politics that's why it's very unfortunate to do the politics in this time with the modern india when we talk about the vikshit bharat that we the strong india what rajiv gandhi they were mentioned about it he was so much against the casteism he was against the, uh, giving interviews about it he this is the worst thing if you do about the on the basis of the caste so these kind of 
first opposition party is Rahul Gandhi doing just to please the Yadavs and all in the Lalu Yadav. But even in fact, uh, Lalu Yadav is a family member of a big family, nine daughters, eight daughters of birth, uh, sons and everything. And whom they are married, I think everybody is not married to the same caste. So this kind of situation is there. They don't feel that what in Tamil Nadu or in Kerala, everywhere people, if you want to divide these kind of work, and even then again the minorities, Muslims, you go to Ghaziabad, people will say, okay, I'm originally from Rajput. You go to Purnia, they say, okay, my mother was following the Hindu, uh, but maybe my name or my father's name is Muslim, but we were following the Hindu uh, festivals or Hindu uh, 